Welcome back to Lake Ridden. Last episode, we communicated with the ghost of Jack through this typewriter. And they're going to help us, but we need to help them first by finding something else that's supposed to be in the master's bedroom. Uh, another hidden hatch. A second hidden hatch. <laughs> There's a lot of hidden things in the master's bedroom. So let's go find it. We're supposed to do some investigating there. I don't know if we're actually finding information that they don't know, or if we're just confirming what they already know, just to earn their trust or something. I'm not sure. This is the master bedroom. Ah, right, I gotta light everything up again, because when I reloaded my... Or actually, I didn't reload a save game, I started from a chapter, which you can do in the main menu, and it reset everything. Like, that's why this box isn't solved, and some letters aren't picked up, and that's why all the lights are out. Oh! Ah. Uh. Oh, right. Inside of here, I'm supposed to answer what... Clues to find out what was stolen, who stole it, and where it is now. That's weird. A drawer full of rocks. Eighth of November. It has come to my notice that a crime has happened in the courtyard yesterday. It seems that Jack has lost an item of high value. I immediately realized the severity of this crime and committed myself to solving it at any cost. Ninth of November. I asked around about the crime and gathered some evidence from Jack's house. This room will be my investigation room from now on. I've ordered Nellie to board up the door. 10th. I looked through the notes and the evidence all day, yet I have no answer. Perhaps a few hours in the basement will clear my mind. 11th. I went for a long walk today along the beach. I found some interesting shells, but I will examine them later. 12th. Today I went to a dinner, I went to dinner with a friend in town. I came one hour late. It seems my pocket watch has been set wrong. One hour wrong. I wonder how long it has been like that. Ah, so here's like all the investigation evidence, I think. Before we do that, let's do this. This one, and this one? Okay, whew, almost lost it. Yes. Saturnia Jewelry, a third generation family business. That's the only part of it, it translates into plain text. Just the name Saturnia Jewelry. Huh. Statement. Pearl. What did the box contain? A good question. Perhaps something precious, like a family heirloom. I know he has a locket from his mother. Maybe that's it. What did you do during the time of the theft? I was working in the laundry all day. I left a couple of times during the day, but I can't remember when. I saw you in the courtyard sometime in the afternoon. I heard someone dropping something in the laundry. Who do you think stole it? Maybe he was robbed. Did you see anything suspicious during the day? I did see someone lurking around the trees around the root cellar. Couldn't see his face from that distance. I saw Nellie hurrying off towards the estate. Much faster than usual. I think it was around 2.20. My recollection of the day. At 11 o'clock, I ate lunch, which was strange since I usually eat at noon. I must speak to Miss Nellie about this. At 1.05, I looked over some sketches in my bedroom. 
At 1.30, I went to the courtyard to prepare for an experiment. I didn't see anyone when I went through the courtyard in search of suitable objects for the experiment. I think someone was there, but I was too busy with my work to notice. At 2.10, I returned to the estate and went to the basement. At 4.30, I left the basement. Statement from Jack. When did you last see the box? I had it at around 2.30, but 10 minutes later it had gone. I had left it in my cabin in the courtyard. What did you do during the time of the theft? I went to the root cellar to check on the rat traps I'd laid there. It was around 2.35. I think I saw a woman down in the laundry, but I didn't see who it was. Did you see anything suspicious during the day? I did see someone leaving the estate later that day when it was darker. That person was in a hurry. Um, so seeing someone in the laundry, that sounds like Pearl who said that they were at the laundry. What time did Pearl say they were at the laundry? Um, I saw Nellie hurrying off towards the estate. Towards the estate. Well, the other person was leaving, so that's Nellie's not the person. Hmm. Sometime in the afternoon. Saw you sometime in the afternoon. Heard somebody dropping something in the laundry. I think that was Pearl that they were talking about here. Statement from Nellie. What did you do during the time of the theft? I was in the kitchen to about 2.10. Then I walked through the courtyard to bring some bags to the laundry. The courtyard was empty. I went back to the estate after that. I then left for my sister who's been sick lately. Poor soul. When I left, I saw you leaving the estate with a couple of boxes. I don't know what you were doing outside the estate with those things. Investigator's comment, I was doing something very important. <laughs> I don't feel very confident about this, but I do have an idea. I think Pearl and Nellie are both off the hook. Pearl was in the laundry all day. That sounds plausible and some of the other um, some of the other statements corroborate that, I think, sort of. Someone said they saw somebody in the laundry. They didn't say who, but Pearl works there all day, so pretty safe to say probably them. Um, Nellie said they left... Well, they said was in the kitchen until about 2.10. Then walked through the courtyard to bring some bags to the laundry. Then back to the estate after that. Back to the estate after that. So a little bit after... 2.10, they started going back to the estate. Pearl says, I saw Nellie hurrying, Nellie hurrying off towards the estate much faster than usual. I think it was around 2.20. 10 minutes to bring the bags to the laundry and then head back. That sounds plausible. And then they say that I then left for my sister who's been sick lately. It's safe to say they probably left quite soon after, right? Wouldn't take that long to leave. So just slightly after 2.20, Nelly completely left. Jack says that they had the item in their possession confirmed into their possession until 2.30. Doesn't quite line up. Unless Nelly like sprinted over to Jack's place and then ran away. I don't know. I, I, I don't think so. So Pearl... Pretty sure they were in the laundry all day. Nelly, pretty sure they left before the thing was actually stolen. That just leaves Jack themselves or Einar. I think Einar accidentally took it, perhaps? I mean, given what they say about, uh, in their journal about trying to figure out the crime, there's no way they're lying about knowing about the crime or, or not. I don't think they're, like, messing with people. But I think they took it accidentally is most likely what happened. So look at this. I had it around 2.30. Last confirmed time that they had it was 2.30. And then they had left. They were working around the root cellar looking at rat traps. And then Einar's recollection. Remember that these times are one hour back from where they should be. So this one that says 1.30 is actually 2.30. At 2.30, which is the exact same time where it was last confirmed to still be in Jack's possession. At that time, that's when they went to the courtyard to prepare for an experiment. 
I didn't see anyone when I went through the courtyard in search of suitable objects for the experiment. I think someone was there, but I was too busy with my work to notice. So yeah, at that exact time, like right around the time it was stolen, Einar was looking for objects for the experiment. I returned to the estate and went to the basement. I left the basement. So I would say the ring is probably somewhere in the basement. Where? I have no freaking clue. Is there any clue around here? Um, I looked through the notes and evidence all day, yet I have no answer. Perhaps a few hours in the basement will clear my mind. That doesn't say anything. They do mention going for a long walk along the beach and finding some shells. That's about it. I feel like it's probably in the basement. I didn't find the ring down there. However, the quest simply says I'm just supposed to figure the answer out and then just give the answers to Jack. So it doesn't necessarily say I have to actually find the ring. Just tell them where it is. This is probably totally going to be wrong. So what did you find out? What was stolen? A ring. A ring. And who did it? Einar. Einar. So where is it now? The root cellar. The root cellar. No, you've got it wrong. Come back when you have figured it out. No. A ring. Einar. Outside the estate. Oh. I just tried a couple more things thinking, I think it really was Einar. So I just did the same thing with Einar, except I said it was outside the estate. That must be it. Einar took my ring and brought it somewhere outside the estate, but where could he have taken it? Wait, he was doing something out on the island. One of his strange experiments. Maybe it's still out there. I might have taken this key to mess a little with him. Here, take it! <laughs> Go bring back my ring and I'll tell you where to look for your sister. Did you give me the... Oh, just appeared in my inventory. So out to the island. I remember there being a locked box over here around the dock. Ring's probably inside. Lenses. Okay, haven't gotten to the ring yet. Lenses and a lantern. 12th of November. Today my experiment begins. I shall create a light reflecting device which will shine brighter than any lighthouse. 15th. It was a full moon today and I've begun to wonder if the moon's shape perhaps has something to do with the amount of light that the lenses reflect. I shall make note of this and find the optimal conditions. It was also a very windy day. Perhaps it also affects the amount of light. 17th. Unlike last week, the water level has been high. I shall take the opportunity and do an experiment every day while it lasts. I believe it gives the best results. 18th. Today was a windless day, but a cold morning. The moon was dark, but I still did the experiment to see what happens. It did not shine very bright, as suspected, but it did show me a perfect hideout. I shall use this hideout for my new safe, in which I've hidden some valuables. <laughs> Including the ring, probably. It did show me a perfect hideout. Hideout? 19th. The wind was harsh and cold today. A crescent moon gave some interesting results that lasted for a few seconds. Twenty-fourth. 
Today it was the first clear sky for the first time in several months. The water level was low and I wonder if it might be optimal after all. I shall investigate it further. 28th. It finally stopped snowing. Now I can continue my work on the island. It's cold, but my work is far more important than being comfortable. 29th. A clear sky with a full moon and with a high water level seems to give the best results. The amount of wind doesn't seem to matter. My work here is done. something about the lenses. Where do the lenses go, by the way? It had uh, a picture here, here, which shows it going between the stones. So maybe that's where they go? And yeah, this also shows a stone, so I think they go in the stones. Okay, that goes in the center. Whoa. shows the symbols all around it, and they don't move when I rotate it. Surely I'm not supposed to just match the symbols that are already there. I, let's just see what happens when we start putting lenses in. Ah, it's about angling them correctly. Let's shine this thing at the one that has something in it and see what happens. Alright, so this puzzle was a complete disaster for me for a million reasons, so I'm just gonna cut all of that out. I looked up the solution. The solution is done. <laughs> Let's move forwards, dear god. I knew there was something in here. I thought there was a strange light. This one's actually got a little bit of color to it. That's gonna make it a lot easier to solve. I'll do this one on camera, because I think you actually might be able to see where parts go, rather than just murky blackness. Hmm. Is that right? I don't think so. There we go. That's right. Hmm. Trying to figure out what I'm where I'm matching something up with. Oh, I think I know where, know where to go. There we go. Miss Nellie wondered about the stones out on the island. She says that she never goes out there because she's afraid of them. This is ridiculous, of course. There's nothing dangerous or strange about the stones. I had them made after a drawing I found in an old book. When I set them in place, there was a small red light, but I'm sure that it was only the sun reflecting in the water. The dead fish floating in the lake were surely caused by the long and hot summer, nothing else. <laughs> Jesus. Yep, that checks out. Alright, let's bring it back to Jack. Finally, I have the ring. I wasn't sure why it was so important to Jack. But I just hoped he would be able to help me after all of that. Einar, that old man sure was imaginative. I'm not sure that his light contraption would have worked as a lighthouse. Here's your ring, Jack. You found it. Thank you. Just leave it here with me. There's an old well you need to go down into. <laughs> Great. It's in the middle of the village. But first, you'll need to drain the water. Find the metal cabinet in the furnace room in the laundry. 
furnace room in the laundry. After you've done that, Pearl will help you get down in the well. What about Nora? Be careful with that one. She is not as innocent as she seems. And that whole forgetful routine. I believe it for a second. But don't tell her that I know. What happened to Miss Nelly? She was just gone one day. Pearl couldn't find her anywhere. I hadn't talked with her for a long time. She seemed a bit distant. Maybe she was behind it. After all, why would she trap one of the spirits in the basement? I better get going. Remember to be careful. Boiler room. Ah, this thing. I thought it looked significant. Wait, is that not it? Is that really not it? Can I use the screwdriver on the screws? Wow. I thought that might be the solution, but there was no interactivity with it at all. Like, not even a, I need to get that off, or anything. Oh, we have a pipe puzzle. Yay. This might work if this pipe up here that seems to touch the ceiling is pressed against the ceiling so tightly that water isn't going to spill out of it. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> this piece does not work. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I got it. Yeah, that should do it. So what are we draining, by the way? The well, I guess. The one outside? I guess we should just leave now? Pearl's supposed to help me. Pearl? <laughs> Alright, where's the well? At least they're not human bones. What happened here? Nora, are you there? Marie, what are you doing down there? What happened here? I don't know. It's all wet. How did you become a ghost? I'm not sure. I can't remember not being a ghost. You think I was a flesh and blood person like you? Something must have happened. Why else would Jack and Pearl have me go down here? We didn't plan for it to happen. Nora, what happened? We were just coming up here to get... to get the girls to leave. No one wanted them here. Do you know what I'm supposed to find? There must be something down here. There it is. <gasps> Nora, are you?
Are you there? I can make out some of the words. It's talking about you, Murray. Trying to bring you back in here. I can't keep it away from me. You have to hurry! from the others. She knows a way out. Stay close to her, Marie. We have a lot of symbols to do. Um, I assume it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna show us what to do. Which one does that go on, though? would have been enough to bring you here. But it's never that easy, is it? There needed to be two people to form the link back. I was surprised to find you, Marie. But now, you and your sister will help me. Miss Nelly, you were quite clever binding those awful spirits into the seals. When did you realize someone was trying to get out? And then you told Pearl about one of the seals, and you told me about the other. Poor Jack was the only one you told about the tear, and you locked a part of him away in here, so he couldn't tell us. To think that the well was where the tear formed, I should have figured that out. And I had no idea you could get into the basement. Luckily, I had your help, Marie. Well, as awkward of a place as this is to end it, I need to go to sleep. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're gonna help unleash some spirits that we probably shouldn't let out. <laughs>